This is Mr. Makes It In, and today we're just going to review a few basics about angles. Well, what exactly is an angle? Well, an angle is just a shape formed by two lines or rays that intersect each other. So when you see two lines intersecting each other, you can always notice these corners being formed. We can see that these two intersecting lines form four different angles. Where the corner of this angle is, is called the vertex of the angle. Now, if we were to look at this angle all by itself, we can name the angle by its vertex, or call this angle B. But when we have four different angles, we cannot just say angle B because that could refer to any of the four angles shown. So what we do in this case is we name an angle by the three points shown on the angle, and we always have to put the vertex in the middle. This angle right here is angle CBE. This angle right here is angle ABC. And this angle here is angle ABD, and this angle is angle DBE. And notice, when we named all four angles, we always placed the vertex in the middle of the three letters. Now, angles are measured in things called degrees, and we know that an entire circle is 360 degrees, so we can think about an angle like a wedge of a circle. So each of these four angles would take up part of an entire circle or part of 360 degrees. Taking a look at angle CBE, that would measure 35 degrees in measure. Angle ABC has an angle measure of 145 degrees. Angle ABD has an angle measure of 35 degrees. And angle DBE has an angle measure of 145 degrees as well. And if we add these four angle measures together, they would have a sum of 360 degrees. Now, notice that the angles that are directly opposite from each other are identical. And these angles are called vertical angles. Vertical angles are always equal in measure. Now, if we were to take the 360 degrees of a circle and divide it into four equal parts, each part would form a right angle, which measures 90 degrees. The lines that form any right angle are called perpendicular. Now, an angle that is greater than 90 degrees, but less than 180, is called an obtuse angle. And any angle measuring less than 90 degrees is called an acute angle. Any angle that measures exactly 180 degrees is called a straight angle. And if you notice, a 180 degree angle, or a straight angle, would form exactly half of a circle, or half of 360 degrees. And anything that goes beyond a straight angle, or 180 degrees, is called a reflex angle. Supplementary angles are any two angles that, when adding their angle measures, have a sum of exactly 180 degrees. In this example, we have an angle that measures 35 degrees, and another angle that measures 145 degrees. And together, they have an angle measure of 180 degrees. Complementary angles are any two angles that, when added together, have a sum of 90 degrees. This example shows a 30 degree angle being added to a 60 degree angle for a total of 90 degrees. So those two angles would be considered complementary. So in review, an acute angle is any angle measuring less than 90 degrees. A right angle is exactly 90 degrees. An obtuse angle is greater than 90 degrees, but less than 180. A straight angle is exactly 180 degrees, and a reflex angle is greater than 180 degrees. Angles that are supplementary have measures that have a sum of 180 degrees, and complementary angles are any two angles with a sum of exactly 90 degrees.